Hey, Barry, how's it going in Chicago? Hey, it's going real good. How's it going with you? Hey, real nice, real nice. I just want to tell you before we start that uh, we've been involved with the movie since the beginning, uh, publicizing it, and the uh, script was real good. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, excellent script. I like the scene between you and Sal when you both meet each other for the first time. Yeah, that was a pretty heavy situation. Yeah, it really was. But listen, let me start out by asking you, why are you doing Eddie and the Cruisers 2 six years later? Why are you personally doing it? Well, what made you decide? Well, what made me decide was that that was like my most successful picture so far. And I figured I may as well capitalize on what works. Mm -hmm. Now, you've done a few TV series. What, what's your past work? Oh, geez, Eddie and the Cruisers was my 10th movie. I've done two TV series. Uh, I've done a play. I made a record. Um, now, going back to Eddie, what happened, Eddie? I mean, we, we thought he died, or maybe he didn't, or what's the story? Well, at the end of the first movie, you see this guy in a beard and a brown leather jacket twirling his keys looking in the window of this television store. Mm -hmm. And as they zoom in on the uh, reflection in that glass, that's me, that's Eddie Wilson. So Eddie didn't actually die. What he did is he uh, tried to emulate Arthur Rimbaud and he gave his best work and then he just disappeared for 18 years. And what well, happens Eddie's in the second one is uh, it picks up right where the last one ends. Mm -hmm. There's uh, the Eddie Lives phenomenon starting to happen and he gets exposed to that up in Montreal which kind of reignites the rock and roll flame and through Marina Orsini who plays Diane Armani, a kindred spirit painter you know, who can understand the trials and tribulations of being a creative artist. And the rock and roll push I get from Bernie Coulson, who plays my lead guitar in the new movie, I take them all on the road, and we put together a whole new bunch of songs, and uh, at the end of the movie, I come out as Eddie Wilson. Now, as far as memorizing the songs and lip syncing, how long did you have before the film started? We had two weeks rehearsal. Mm -hmm. You know, and they gave us a bunch of songs to kind of solidify the band. And the songs came in, you know, as we were getting ready to shoot them. Are they very different on this one, or are they similar to the first? Well, it's three-chord rhythm and blues. You know, it's, it's, it's a little more evolved than the first one. You know, uh, the lyrics are more personal to Eddie Wilson. You know, in the first one, uh, the word man, played by Tom Berenger, wrote the words. Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, it's a little more Eddie Wilson now. What would you like to see happen next for Eddie Wilson if there was a third movie? The American Tour. The American Tour. Yeah. All right, I've got two more questions for you. What else is coming up for you personally? I'm off to Italy to do a movie for Damiano Damiani. I play an American Italian who goes home and gets involved in uh, the local politics and people and who live in the shadow of the mafia. Mm-hmm. And one more question, which is actually sort of a favor for you being on our show. We were wondering if you could uh, sort of do a promo for yourself on the show. Sure. You just say your name, and uh, pretty much you can say anything you want. I had an idea where you could say, um, uh, Hi, I'm Michael Perry. Whenever I want to know what's going on in entertainment, I watch Barry Blake. Barry Blake. Right. Okay. At your leisure. Hey, I'm Michael Perry from Medi Lives. Whenever I want to find out what's happening, I tune in to Barry Blake. Perfect. I appreciate the time, and I can't wait to see the film. Okay, Barry. Thanks a lot, Michael. Take it easy.